Hello everyone, so few months ago I have videos talk about Ideogram AI and it is in my backup channel right now. These videos that talk about this really cool website actually using their own fine tune or training diffusions model to generate image. And also at that moment, they have already got their models could be identified text and generate in the image. And right now they have announced the Ideogram AI 1.0 officially released. It's not in beta anymore. So they're like after fine tune. And I just want to do a quick test again about their AI models. And so far I see their communities generate image in here is pretty amazing. And look at like, for example, this one is very clear with their text generate onto the image. For example, like this, the wooden color, like a wooden materials with special text font that is generating and is not quite matched with their text prompts in here. As you can see, the double quote is highlighted in March, this word, but then some of the generate result is not quite the same with this one. But then in the perspective of creating a letter, like a complete letter, and with a texture using wooden styles and have their text font, Arial font in here, it's pretty cool. With their latest update. Oh, and look at this one is free and fresh. And yeah, this one is really following the text prom instructions in here. And it's actually doing that. So sometimes it's kind of lucky draw. If you have a good one using AI image to generate a correct text on the image. But then like this generations here is really good. And also previously a few months ago I did one for the future thinker image. That is something looks like this. And actually at that time they have already do pretty good jobs in generate text on image. And like this one the thinker is still kind of broken on this part and this part. So at the final, I choosing this one. Yeah, I was choosing this one for the final cover of this generation image. So let's try with something using this image generators because other than the text on the image, they have pretty amazing update fine tunes on image quality. That's not only like illustrations or styles. They are also including the realistic styles. Like this one is pretty amazing as we see this. They have actually do some improvement on their AI models. So the first test I will do is this very simple text prompt. Urban city nighttime with firework on the skies and fireworks show the text bonjour and that is that simple. And let's see how it goes. So let's add a little more styles with that. Let's say I want to be like a poster, cinematic and yeah, that's all I need. So let's try with this one and let's go. So in the meanwhile, I creating the text prop, I see some new refresh, new image on here. Like this one is pretty cool, like smarty pants. And look at that. It's nice. The letter is actually showing it's not broken in some part. And then, wow. Actually, if four of this, I would choose this one because it's really nice that showing the flowers integrating with the color of the text that actually match with the whole themes of this one. But this one is good also. The creator choose this one is good also because multiple colors match with the styles and theme of this flower poster. So let's check out our image if that is complete or not. Okay, it's right here. We got our first image. So bonjour, pretty good. The text is not broken. And uh, let's see other. Okay, this one is still working fine. And we got some... Well, the AI tried to do some reflection text on here. They're trying to do a glass or windows, the reflection of this thing on top of that, but some fails. Or maybe this is a poster underneath the building. I'm not sure what they tried to do. Okay, this is kind of awkward like you're doing in the Windows Paint app of the Paint software. Try to just put the fonts on top of that, but this part is good. The poster, the yellow poster here, the bonjour is okay. But then underneath the small fonts in this poster is start broken. So some part it well and this one is not really okay. Like this kind of text, it feels like it's not naturally blend into the image itself. So if I'm choosing from four of this, I would say I would choose this one for the text on image perspective. But then this one, I don't know what is trying to do with this Windows frame underneath here. 
and do something. Yeah, this is better. The bonjour with some special texture feels like a firework blend into the skies using this one. So let's try one more time. Can they do remix? Yeah, they can do remix on here. So after I click the remix, they actually do more details like a longer text prompt using their magic prompts here because I turn it on their magic prompts. This is their new features and you can choose the model. 2 is their old beta model and then the 1.0 is their official release without beta versions. And let's click generate and see one more time. Actually their surface as well is pretty good for you. Want to create a quick generate an image for text on image? For example, you want to create a simple logo like previous we saw that flower logo on text on that. I'm not sure if I can still find that. Well, like this one looks good, like an off-road camping logo. Yeah, actually this kind of simple logo with text on it is okay to using this surface. And they have, yeah, like this one if you want to design like a logo with that. And this is pretty awesome. And let's see if there's other thing that we can play around with. And yeah, that's all it is. I just want to get an update of this latest versions of ideogram. And let's see my latest result of the bonjour. Okay, so again, they have choose some styles like that. And actually, this one kind of makes sense. It, it's like on the rooftop of the building. And then the mirror try to do some reflections. Or this actually is a poster of something with also a fireworks on here. Yeah, so something like that can be keep fine tuning. Hopefully they have some tools for fine tuning the image after generate. And hopefully they have that in their latest versions. That is something I'm looking for if they are doing another updates of their website. But then, so far, I see is their text on image are pretty accurate compared with stable diffusions SDXL and 1.5. They did a better job than those two models. So yeah, guys, check it out. This is the Ideogram AI and I will see you guys on the next videos. See ya.